Black Ops 3 is the third edition of the Black Ops series that has came from Call of Duty. And if you guys were to uh, pay attention to the in-game sounds and look around the Call of Duty maps a little bit, you will find that there is some pretty interesting Easter eggs that refer back to Black Ops 1 and Black Ops 2, and I'm here to show you those today. Alrighty, so the first easter egg that I have found in Black Ops 3 deals with the new rogue specialist that you can get from completing weekly bounties on Black Ops 3 and the score streak that was introduced in Black Ops 1 and brought to Black Ops 2, the death machine. It wasn't introduced in the Black Ops 3 though. Or was it? As you can hear right here, the rogue specialist saying this thing is a goddamn death machine. Now essentially, if you think about it and put two and two together, the Scythe Specialist and the Death Machine are oddly similar. Did Black Ops 3 mean to do this, or was it just something random? They figured a good LMG that oddly resembles a chain gun like every other version of it did would be a good idea for Black Ops 3. I don't know, let me know what you guys think down in the comments, if it is on purpose to resemble each other, or if it was just some sort of luck that Black Ops 1, 2, and 3 happen to have in common. For the second little easter egg, we are going to be venturing into the child's room of the orange building, and if you look around, there's a bunk bed, some stuffed animals, and a toy car. If you look really closely, the toy car looks exactly like the toy car from Black Ops 2 in the Nuketown map, Nuketown 2025. But if you turn straight around, there are a couple of action figures. But are they really action figures? It seems to me like they are the Nuketown 2025 mannequins. That's right there, the mannequins brought exactly from Black Ops 2, and it's pretty mind-boggling to see that they brought these kind of things back in such a cool way as little miniature figures inside the kids' room, and they didn't come out and say that this was going to be happening, so it had to be something that the player found themselves. Now, venturing over to the other building, doing it my way, the style way, we are going to be going into the middle room of the upstairs, and if you look on the shelves, there's a random sign. But if you think about it again, it is the original Welcome to Nuketown sign that is found in the Nuketown 2025 map yet again. If you look, there's a population counter. Now, I have checked in public matches, and yes, it does count up as to how many people are in the match. The Welcome to Nuketown sign is working, and it works the exact same way it worked in Black Ops 2. Now, if you guys enjoyed this video, please drop a like, subscribe for more content, and I'm out, guys. Later.